Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna be talking about a very low-budget, independent American horror film called Last Shift. It is directed by Anthony De Blasi, and uh, I'm just gonna straight up say this: this was a a well-done horror film. Uh, it was suspenseful. It was creepy. It was scary. It was everything a good horror film should be. It even have it even had good jump scares, which is good because because there's a difference between bad jump scares and good jump scares. Good jump scares are ones that are meant to be scary, like something that shows something that's actually scary. It's it's not like oh false cat boo scare. But to break down the plot, uh, story follows a rookie cop during her first shift in the final night of a closing police station it's the same police station her father worked at who was also a cop before she got killed in action and the best way to describe this movie is Assault on Precinct 13 but with a supernatural aspect of it And the lead actress, Juliana Harkavi, is great in it, especially since she basically carries the film herself. She's pretty much by herself the whole movie in the police station. Um, the film take, takes place in one night, which I, I adore condensed horror movies. And random cool thing, there's a specific hallway scene which uses a very unique way to shoot it which I didn't I haven't seen before and it was very unique and very cool and it led to a pretty successful scare it got me good and and the twist I've seen the twist before in other horror movies or TV series but I didn't see it coming in this film because they hide it extremely well so, if you see it, try to spot the twist. I guarantee you won't you won't figure it out. So yeah, check it out. It's 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 really good. It's scary. It's creepy. It's suspenseful. It's well shot, well acted, and there's some generally disturbing moments. So yeah, last shift. Check it out. Thanks for watching, guys.